And uh, I'm going to start um, by welcoming you. It's so wonderful to see both of you and um, to come together for this. So I'd like to light a flame in honor of our sisterhood, our Red Thread connection, for those of us here, as well as for the outer circles and uh, the women throughout the world and, and men too who are part of the Red Thread connection so that our flame, our inner flame, merges with that flame and shines all the way out into the world. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just ground and center by just settling in for a moment and focusing on our breath, the natural flow of it, recognizing that every time we inhale, we receive life. And as we exhale, we share that life. And let's just do a couple of those gentle breaths focused on receiving and sharing life at our own pace. And then become aware of your inner center, wherever that may be for you personally within your body. Allow your attention to rest there within you as we begin to imagine, sense, visualize, or perceive roots extending from the soles of our feet, moving down, down deep into Mother Earth beneath us, spreading out and anchoring us into the fertile, rich, healing, nurturing energy of Mama Earth. And with every breath, her energy flows naturally up our roots and spirals into our inner sacred centers. And as you exhale, her energy continues to rise up in you, but you also share the life breath with her with every exhale the symbiotic relationship connected. And imagine since visualize or perceive that out the crown of your head, beautiful branches spread high and wide above you as you transform into a very beautiful tree perhaps a rowan tree of the red thread tradition or another tree that you feel aligned with, but your branches stretch up high, high up into the stars, connecting with the heavenly realm above us, the cosmos, the universe, and every breath, this starlight energy naturally flows down through our branches, swirling into our sacred center within. And you also share the life breath with the universe with every exhale. And this connection is made the heavenly realm and Mama Earth are merged within your sacred center and they become one, joining your energy. Feel that beautiful, empowering energy spread through all of your body, strengthening, supporting, nourishing, and healing. Know that you're always connected. And this energy is always available to empower you. And with your next breath, gently bring your awareness and your focus to the back of your closed eyelids, knowing that as you blink open 
and you return to your outer vision that we see one another and we connect with one another as we rest in this energy leah will guide us in a beautiful poem thank you it was lovely i thought i would read bound by love from the red thread and i want to say i lost my glasses today and i'm borrowing my sister's reading glasses <laughs> i can't see very well i i didn't instead of trying to pop around and read it on the computer i wrote it in my journal and now i have to read my writing <laughs> the red thread reminds us where we come from a lineage of love and fire dancing on this earth since forever reminds us that we are one people that we are bound by love our languages skins songs sounds and symbols are unique yet no matter what we say or do the reality of our oneness remains we are connected across the spaces the places the faces seasons and stars I have been waiting for you here on this red earth path, calling your name. Come into my circle, my sister, my friend. My soul is quenched by your presence. Our hearts unite in remembrance. Our hands weave the threads together, gathering here since forever. Uh, so I thought that's nice. beautiful, Leah. Thank you. Hi, there Kim. she is. I'm sorry, I was on another Zoom meeting. <laughs> well, we have begun our red thread circle. We've grounded and centered, and Leah shared a lovely uh, poem with us. And um, so we're going to keep moving forward. Um, and um, I, I brought forth um, a, pro a small process we can do that I feel will anchor us in and prepare us for the work we're being asked to do in our peer circle here. Um, because we're all creatives and I'm learning or I've learned that uh, three of us in the group, I don't, I don't know about you, Kim, but three of us are all cosmic smash bookers. Are you, Leah, are you a cosmic smash booker? I have a cosmic smash book here. See? <laughs> are you Kim? Are are you a cosmic? Where is she? Oh, she might have froze. I think she's yeah. Oh, there she is. There she is. Kim, do you do cosmic smash booking? Sorry, my internet was going in and out, I think. Do you do cosmic smash booking? I didn't quite hear the last part. Are you a cosmic smash booker? Okay, well, what I've done was I, I because we like to create in, in journals or cosmic smash books, um, I took the four legends that we work with, and all I did was um, painted them in a, a really large flower format. Um, so that here's the sacred center, right? And then here's the, I am already connected. I feel sacred responsibility. I hold my unique peace and I celebrate the journey. And then the stem with its flowers. And um, obviously we're not gonna spend time painting, but in our, in our journals, we can at least outline a flower and then, and then in our own time uh, elaborate on it however you feel called to. So um, I thought I would just lead us in sort of a, uh, an opened-eyed meditation where uh, the inquiries, we'll do, the, we'll do four inquiries and, and just hold that space inside of you. And then when you hear your response, to go ahead and write it down into the area, whether it's an affirmation or whether it's a keyword or even a symbol. Um, the idea is that we're looking at where we are right now with our uh, center 
and our, our relationship to Red Thread and um, our four legends, because our four legends sort of uh, hold us. They hold us in the sacred space and we're constantly looking at those and dealing with them and working with them. So if that feels good to you, um, we'll go ahead and do that. Does that feel okay? Yep. Okay, Kim, she's going to get on her phone. She can't hear for some reason. Yeah. Is it hard to hear? No, I can hear you. You can hear okay. Yeah. Hi, Kim. Can you hear better? You're mute. You've got yourself muted. Sorry. There I don't know. There. My computer is being really weird, so sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, Maybe it has Zoom fatigue. It yeah, could. I think so. so People are computer. over Zooming these days. I've been on my computer all day, so it's probably that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, turn it I, off, turn it off. <laughs> I know, I've noticed that too. It's like, it's, it's becoming unhealthy, all these yeah. Zoom things. It's like... Yeah. Sedentary. We're becoming sedentary. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, so well, I was at the river all the day, so I. <laughs> you were outside. Yeah, I've been on two walks today, so I mean, I've been outside too. Yeah, yeah. And me this too. is my only Zoom meeting today, so I feel nice. Nice. I feel happy about that because I too have been going from Zoom to Zoom to Zoom, and it's like, oh no, so not, yeah. so not good. Okay. <laughs> So does that feel good? Shall we do that? Okay. And so remember, this is for each one of us, of course, and um, we're just connecting into that. So I'm going to start off with a, 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 um, a little meditation. And um, the direction I'll be guiding is that um, legend one is at the top pedal, legend two is to the right, legend three is the bottom pedal, and legend four, of course will be, oh, I said them backwards, didn't I? Well, you can see. So it's clockwise, starting up here clockwise. And then um, keep your sacred center because we'll put something in the sacred center and we'll put something down here at the stem also. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and just focus on that breath flow again of receiving life. And as we exhale, sharing life and allow your Focus to go inward once again into your sacred center. And just lean into the thought that you are already connected, that you have already been connected to what matters, that you aren't alone, and more than that, you are wanted here, that you belong to the great matrix of life. Your peace is essential to the weave of life. Allow yourself to feel a sense of belonging and choose to be here with all of us as a conscious choice. You are a part of the circle of life. And there is this circle you are already in that has led you to here now. And every experience has been leading to this point of connectedness. You are connected and there are circles within circles that you are part of and we are all here together and within as we begin with the first legend just affirm within you I am already connected. 
seeing yourself as already connected and holding on to thread. And just open to that message of what that means to you, really means to you right now as an affirmation, a word or a symbol. And when you have that, simply writing it into your journal. And as we breathe into our connection and open to the second legend, we know that we've been called. I am called to this circle. And the second legend is I feel sacred responsibility. Seeing yourself as a part of the greater weave of life and what that means to you now. And as we move into the third legend, I hold my unique peace. I am responsible for my peace only. Seeing yourself as unique and essential, you're the only one who holds your piece of the red thread and who holds the specific wisdom that you contain within. And so sink into that and what your sacred responsibility is for you now. And as we breathe into the fourth legend, I am a witness 
We are witnesses for each other. We know that a very significant part of our gathering is sir, in circle is to share our stories as well as to hear each other's stories, to witness each other. And so as we step into that fourth legend of I celebrate the journey, we're celebrating each other in that journey. And what does that mean? What does that mean for you at this point right now? And so as we are in our celebration, that always leads us into the sacred center of who we really are. When we embrace the four legends, we, be, we become maybe deeper connected with who we are, um, our, our self that we hold dearly, but sometimes are afraid to show. And we know right now, we don't have to hold any fear that we can be vulnerable and intimate in our sharing, in our connectedness of the red thread, because each one of us supports and upholds our four legends. So in your sacred center, which is kind of the culmination and completion of the four legends, what's the key attribute that this connection gives you? That these provide you with and bring that down into the earth now down through your stem see that energy feeding mama earth because that's what she's feeding you right back. And she's giving you one other personal thing. And she's putting that into your stem. So receive what that is. So from this, whether it's your sacred center or whether it's your stem, that becomes part of your intention, your personal intention for our red thread connection this night. And as we move forward as a, as a peer <laughs> circle of sacred sisters, and um, I'd like to go ahead and pass the red thread so that we each connect up in the red thread. And as we receive the red thread, I feel it's important to always say our name because it's like our calling card vibration. We're announcing that to, to the divine as well as to our inner core. And then if you feel to say what your personal intention is, whether it's from your sacred center or whether it's from your stem. 
So I'll go ahead and start since I'm holding the, the red thread. I'm Kisma, and my intention is stability. And so I'll pass the red thread to Ruthann. I'm taking the red thread from you, Kisma. And I'm Ruthann. And my piece of the red thread is building community. So I participate with you and my participation and my connection and part of my weave with you builds community. And when we build community, personally, we also, it goes out, it weaves out, ripples out into the larger community. So starting at our center of ourselves, then we can share community building with others. And I pass the red thread to Leah. Oh, and I'm taking it. Oh, that was tricky. <clears throat> Leah, I. Well, it's like you said, the thing about building community, and I have a, a large family that uh, I made once a long time ago um and i'm finding myself at a time where i'm building um community relationships uh but also as a um elder in my family you know i mean my parents walked on over 10 years ago and my grandparents, uh, my sisters and I are the elders and we're really young to be the elders, you know, fifties and sixties. That's pretty young actually, you know, to be the elders of a family. And so um, it's a lot of responsibility, you know, and also I feel like um, I live in a pretty small community, but a growing community and my I don't know if anybody's familiar with Nadia King. She's been in the uh, Color of Woman teaching and um, all that for years. She's been your cosmic, she was telling me about Cosmic Cowgirls, you know, 10 years ago and going down there and visiting and stuff. So I'm really fortunate to have that in my community. She introduced me and I finally showed up. So my thing for me personally is focus. I have, I'm not a very organized person. I have a tendency to totally fly by the seat of my pants and um, I'm really good at procrastinating and getting things done at the last minute. Um, but right now, I don't know what else I'm going to say. <laughs> so I will pass it to Kim because I'm sure I, I meant to say something, but right now, um, I, I just am here to try to fulfill my purpose and I'm just showing up. I'm here to show up. Finally. <laughs> there you go, Kim. <laughs> Magic thread. Woo. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> got mine. You got it. Here's mine. <laughs> um, yeah, I just feeling ah, just feeling a lot right now. So um, it's a lot of ah, feels like there's just a lot of old patterns coming up for me that I'm wanting just to reveal. I mean, not, <laughs> not going into the detail, but um, just seeing the spaces where I hide and where I am being called to be 
really vigilant about how I hide and to be honest and call myself out on the hiding and um, all the dishonesty, um, you know, the little ones, the big ones, and just, anyway, sorry, it feels really dark and deep right now, but it's just kind of where I'm at. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's just yeah just where I've been um so right now what I'm calling for my red thread is a lot of patience and a lot of um you know re rewilding but not wilding where I thought you know wild needs to go like I, I think I need I'm relearning what wilding means in a way that is an integrity and an honesty and in um, truth versus you know lying and whatever <laughs> doing the addictive parts of me so um just wanting to learn how to rewild myself and um be brave in that experience um and just uh just really just ask for support when I need it and um, I just that it's okay to be honest and truthful you know and, and not to be afraid to show up with honesty so yeah it's just been a, a hard couple of weeks so I'm just really um, wanting to call for some uh, you know, new steps to take. So, yeah, I'm just really grateful um, to be here. And um, sorry, but I don't know what's happening with all my computer stuff. I guess that's a sign of <laughs> where I'm at. <laughs> anyway, just grateful to be here and um, hoping to, um, you know. I guess the other piece is like really calling forth the piece of my red thread and what that really is for me. So, yeah. I feel you. Um, so pass it to back to everyone or I don't know how now it works. Yeah. Yeah. We're all connected now. Thank you for listening. Kim, I want to share this with you because you know, I, I always pull a card before Red Thread Circle, and tonight I used um, Shiloh's uh, Mother Mary Oracle, and um, the Our Lady of Dark Mysteries came out. That's you, Kim. Right? This came for you, Kim. I really feel that because I was like, wow, okay, something uh, significant. Um, is needed tonight in our in our connection and um, yeah I can really feel you I hope you're there I hope you're still there is she there I don't hear you Ruthann you've muted yourself uh, her picture is still there but she's frozen again Okay, well, at least when she gets the recording, she's going to hear this. But um, because when I drew this card, you know, I ask and go through my own little process with it. And I was like, oh, gosh, that's, that's kind of intense for her. But now I understand. And, uh, right. and to a degree, we're all right there with this going through our own opening, I think. Mm -hmm. So this... Um, was that's a beautiful card it's i'm always feeling behind even when i'm not like i always feel like i know i'm putting more pressure on myself than oh. there is like with assignments and stuff i'm like oh i found it in a, my journal in a place where i looked six thousand times and I went and started a new one. <laughs> I got a new sketch pad after that, after I'd lost that journal. And it had like the first three assignments in it and everything. And I was like lost for a while trying to 
was flailing, but yeah. But you found it. I and did. I mean, maybe you were guided to create a new one for a new perspective. And also just starting from scratch all over on a bunch of the thoughts that I, you know, and stuff I had been trying to, yeah, it was like starting over again. Yeah. It was rough. We're definitely, I managed. Oh, I'm sorry. We're definitely re-entering our new lives. That There's a dichotomy in that, but we're re-entering yes. our new lives, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. you 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 brought out the perfect example of that <laughs> metaphor, or contradiction, or whatever. So, yeah. Totally. Um, I'm going to mute myself again, but I can unmute when I need to. Um, there's a lot of activity downstairs, and I don't sometimes know. there's sudden outbursts of video game cussing. Okay, don't worry about it. I don't hear it. I don't know if anybody else Me hears either. it. But I would like to um, turn it over to you because now um, we're we're at we're ready to do our intention for the peer, for the meeting tonight, for our planning of um, what we want to do and how, and some dates and scheduling and stuff like that. So don't. I have a twenty-five-year-old who lives on the Xbox sometimes. We have like a lot of those that live on the Xbox, like from from thirteen to twenty one. Yeah, like you just it's, many it's, many of them. It's their life, right? It's it is. It's who they yeah. are. So we just smile and go, okay. <laughs> yeah, they were saying, oh, there's a a brand new uh, something some something brand new came out today. For oh, <laughs> whoa, a new game. A new yeah. game. Big, oh, that's big stuff. Big stuff. Oh. <laughs> big stuff. I have a question. I know we're all in the same time zone, but I kind of just it want to know where you guys are. Oh. I'm in Oregon. That's a good question. I'm, I'm in Santa north. Maria, California. Santa Maria. So you're north. Santa Maria is north. It's Central Coast. Central Coast. I'm Newport Beach, so Southern. Okay, Coast. you're south. Yeah, I'm south. Yeah, and then I, I don't know if Kim. I think we she love says you. I can't hear again. Mm. She might be able to hear us though. We no, could do a chat. I'm not okay. fast at yeah. it. But we can. She might be coming back. Let's then. see. Try and come back. Um, uh, we, me, I'm going to tell her I am recording this, and so we'll also send a copy of it to uh, um, everyone. So um, we are doing, we are planning the calendar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, um, I had a synchronicity today, this, um, real estate person put a little tiny calendar on my porch today. So, oh, that's it's a perfect. little one though. That's, mine's pretty tiny too, but it's, yeah. <laughs> so I said, oh, this is perfect for, because I was needing a calendar. Well, she just left. Maybe she'll try back in. Yeah. It's got to be frustrating. I know how that is. Um, okay. Anyways. So uh, going forward, when we set up our meetings, are we still going to use your Zoom, Kisma? Was that yours? This is, or yeah, I... Um, I have a paid Zoom. We're more. You're, I'm more than happy to do that for anyone. Um, if you have a Zoom um, and you want to set up your own Zoom call, that's fine too. It's really. I'm either way. Uh, it, you, you're. Everyone's welcome to use my Zoom if you want it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just so, have to call me <laughs> so I can set up the call. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't ever set up a Zoom. I've attended Zoom, but I have never set up on my own before. So do you have to, um, you have a do Zoom you have to schedule a time in advance? Um, yes, you do. Um, and what that does is it, it um, puts it on your Zoom calendar and provides you with the call-in information. And then you send that, you know, like I did in the email and I sent that out to everyone. And then you click in off of, off of that Zoom. And um, there's a new feature that's going to happen um, as of July, and we have to reset our Zooms again, and everybody's going to have to have a waiting room that requires a password, and that's going to be a new a new safety feature to keep people from bombing your. Yeah. So, and and I have um, what's called the pro account. It's the cheapest one, but it it gives me unlimited recording ability and and up to a hundred people in a call at any one time. So it's more than enough. Um, but it, it's password. So you only get to come in without typing in a password because I send you that password in the Zoom information. Otherwise, if you didn't have that password in email that I sent you mm -hmm. and you tried to get in, you would be asked for a password and you wouldn't be able to get in. So, but I guess people are hacking that too. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's, a, it's a delicate time right now. It is. Those millennials just don't have anything else to do. I know. It's they're when so they're taking breaks from their Xbox, they come so bond IT. people on Zoom. So IT, you know, it's all about code. I know. So, well, yeah. that's, they're my, they're my um, blessing because yeah. without them, I would be still in the flip phone. I'd still oh, be on the flip phone. Right? Yes, my 21 year old is the one who um, I, I messaged him and I said, I need a computer. And he said, Okay, what do you need? Do you need this? Do you need that? Do you need this? Do you need that? And then he sent me the link and said, Order this one. <laughs> yep. That's I, I do. And, that was it. and I did. I just <laughs> went with what he said, you know, He's for, mine is forever, I'm like, Tristan, I need you. Can, and he's like, oh, mom. And yeah, he's my, young, he's my youngest. He's my baby. Oh, it's funny. Isn't it funny? Yeah, we, we love them for their, their technology efficiency. And more. Mine are my grandchildren. Yeah. Mine oh, are my call. grandsons. Yeah. But that's uh, pretty yeah. cool to have that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I my live. grandson just calls me to ask me if he can use my card to buy more skins for his character on his whatever, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> my oldest grandson. That's funny. Mm -hmm. It makes his five-year-old little brother jealous because he gets all the cool stuff on his well, game. I actually love playing Xbox. I do play a game. I, I play an Xbox game with him, with my son, but it's called Elder Scrolls Online. It's really... Uh, it's quest driven. It's a storyline. Mm, mm. Right. Those are fun. Those those are fun. fun. Um, but as for the Zoom, if you wanted to see if you could set it up yourself, and if you couldn't figure it out, you just email me and then I can set it up. So that's not a problem. You know what I mean? But I can tell you real simply, um, when you log into your Zoom account, you know how it brings that little square up? And over here is where the uh, meetings are listed that you have been invited to or whatever there's a little tiny plus sign just a little tiny plus sign you click on that and that's how you schedule a meeting and it's pretty simple it's just like a a form list date name time and I just call yeah the, what did I call the sacred sisters peer circle or I don't I, I'd have to look again and see how I called it um, because I'm in, I'm in the intentional creativity teacher training for color of women. So I got all those meetings and then I'm becoming a certified red thread holder of the guild. And then I'm in cat's cosmic smash booking teacher training. Now it's like, I'm overkill. I'm doing too much, but whatever <laughs> it is what it is. 
right? So if you want to, you're more than welcome to, but uh, if you want me to set it up for any either of you, I'm totally okay with that too. It doesn't bother me. That sounds good. Yeah. So should we uh, move on to setting some dates then for our next? Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead. Should we do week, try weekly? Yeah. Can we just kind of clarify again what what our goal what our mission is with the peer group okay so i think that to i it's my understanding that um part of our certification is that each one of us needs to lead a red thread circle so that's why we are having the peer groups is that that gives us each an opportunity to to be the to call a red thread circle as part of our um think do we do four circles or three circles for certification something like that i don't know how many circles is it we'll have to check i can look real quick to see how many it's circles. three it's three, three circles mm -hmm. and we're so supposed to there's all three here no I think, I think we this no. gives us an opportunity to do three here and then if we want to we can do others outside of the circle outside of the i'm not i'm not positive but i think this would fill the requirement for three circles okay okay no it's if you are leading so if each of us were to lead one and we critique each other right and then critique each other that's the right. main uh part of the that's part of the doing it in a group thing right now is anybody else doing out um other red thread circles i'm not I do my local group with my with Nadia that Nadia is doing, and then she has other people that do some co co stuff with her that are sometimes on there. Is she going to uh, um, allow you to be a guest um, red thread leader for for your for one of them? Allow me. I think she would like totally encourage me to I mean, do uh, it. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> she's like, no, she's like, okay, Nadia King is m my first husband's mom's cousin's ex-wife. So we're cousins. Family. We're family. <laughs> so she would totally um, um, support you doing a live red thread. Um, that's awesome. I've done- Like with her? Yeah. 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 I've done three live red thread circles um, with uh, three different groups before the lockdown and I um in uh, beginning of April I started a red thread circle through meetup and um, every other week we hold a red thread circle sometimes I have 11 women sometimes I only have one other woman it's really variable and um, yeah that's what our experience has been in any of our local groups no consistency it's whatsoever yeah so that's kind of but i'll share those dates with you because you're also welcome to come into those and if you wanted to come in to to one and you wanted to be the leader of that particular one with other people i'm totally okay with that too we so we've got that venue also all right that's good yeah yeah because yeah. it's Absolutely. different with people who who aren't part of red thread yes it is different yeah okay so we're we're gonna schedule we're each scheduling at least right right off the bat one date that we're each gonna give a red thread circle Okay. Okay. okay that that's awesome that's awesome i thought that's what it was but i wasn't 100 percent sure okay. 
And we're locked in to, to only Tuesday nights at 7 p.m.? I'm not. I'm not either. I'm not. I'm not. I, yeah, it's whatever works. Yeah, because I'm pretty open. I mean, I can do mornings. I can do afternoons. Um, I can do weekends. I'm very open, very variable. It depends on the day, of course, and if there's anything else going. I kind of like, uh, I kind of liked today how I could be gone most of the day and say, okay, I got to leave at such and such time. And that was kind of nice for me to come home to this. <laughs> Yeah. Some of my days are really busy summer kid days, and some of them are just nothing going on. Yeah, yeah. But my daughter, I babysit frequently Tuesdays and Thursdays early in the day. Okay. But early in not the always. Okay. Not always though. So. So what about June next? What about June twenty fifth? That's that's next Thursday, like in the afternoon. Mm. That's June twenty fifth is the day after tomorrow. Oh, is that right? No. Yeah. Is really? Yeah. 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 Today's oh the twenty third. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my gosh. I'm, yeah. I'm see I'm out of time. I get out of I slip out of time a lot. Yeah. That's been happening since this Yes. Staying at oh. home. Yeah. I'm always like that. If it, if the day feels like Sunday, it must be. It must be, <laughs> right? Well, are we going to try and do something next week then, or are we going to wait until after the 4th of July? Uh, should we try Tuesday the 30th? Um, I actually, at 3 o'clock, have my meetup red thread. Would would you are one. you both available at that time? I uh, what is that? It's, it's, a, it's a red thread circle, but it, it would and it would be right here on Zoom. But there will also be there would also be some uh, uh, potentially um, other people in it that come that come from my public red thread. So June thirtieth at three three o'clock. It's Christmas. What do you call yours? I just call it red thread circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty basic. I keep things real basic because it's like. Then let's, then let's, let's leave that date open for, to be able to participate in that one. Okay. And then if you'll send us the invitation to that one. Yep. So this and, is peer group. I'm going to also add peer so that I know okay. here. Okay. So cool. that gives us a, an opportunity to attend. And then, so that moves us into July. And I am supposed to be going back to work July 13th. Okay. So it'll be days and I do not have a schedule yet. Well, let's try and get you in the week of the sixth then. Okay. Right? Mm hmm that Because, good. Leah, you like evening. You like the evening. I do. I kind of like this. I mean, mostly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it. I had never really, I don't think I had ever done an evening meeting. Yeah. Usually it's always in the afternoons. Yeah. And then it's like my whole day is like around that one you know yeah it's sacred <laughs> i'm kind of uh open for for the most part for times and stuff so uh should we do um um should we stay on tuesdays or any night any evening I'm pretty open. When did you say they are going to change um, Zoom? I think it's like, I'll have to, let me look at that email, but I thought it was July. Um, I'm going into my email real quick. I thought it said July. 
soon. July 19th. Okay. Um, so let's. I'll forward this email to both of you, or to all three of you, so that you can see what it says. Because okay. it just gives directions. Um, so it's just saying that everybody will have to have, if you do a Zoom call, will have to have a waiting room. Nobody gets to go right into a Zoom call anymore. You have to come in through a waiting room. Yeah, so, okay, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so should we try um, um, Tuesday, June 7th, or another evening that, July, I'm sorry, July, the week of July 6th, what, what time is good? This is for you, right? Right. So what do you want with them? This is your... Um, let's let's try tuesday the 7th if that's if tuesday's still good okay and do a 7 p.m again okay 7 p.m so it's going to be 7 7 at 7. <laughs> oh yeah Yay. cool that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome let's do 7 7 at 7. so so leah do you, you say it leah it's yeah. not leah is it leah or leah it is Leah. Okay, good. Are you okay with doing the 30th, the three o'clock? I mean, uh, I'm, doing it, I'm doing it regardless of whether or not we do it because it's my public group yeah. that I do Red Thread Circle with. And so we do it every other Tuesday from three to four and it's only an hour long, so. Yeah, I would have to maybe. You don't have to come. I'm not sure yet. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to come, but Send I am. Send me an invitation. Yeah, um, and and I will. I uh, would like to call it my my peer group red thread. That so would be seven o'clock yeah. works for me, but it's my family time. I'm going to be honest; it is my family time. Um, so my husband's sitting in there going, mm -hmm. "Wait, should we do it earlier? Yeah. Um, or well, not on Tuesdays?" No, no, no. It, he gets home. He's gone back to the lab. So he gets home like at six o'clock. We do dinner and then we go out for our dog walk. And then he has right. a show he likes us to watch. But that's every night. So it's not like it's a it's problematic for me in the long run. But um, and I already told him that I was part of this and we were going to be doing a series of classes in the evening. So he's already aware of that, but it is yeah, my husband right now. He's working out of town, but oh. I don't, I don't know how, for how long. So, um, he's, he's up in Kalinga. Kalinga. Yeah. Kalinga. Yeah. They're doing highway work up there. So, Ugh, boy. so what, he's not he's home, home right now, but he would like to be. But when he's home, are evenings difficult? Well, it just, he'll just have to stay downstairs while we have our meeting. Yeah. Yeah. He can go play the Xbox. Yeah. He, he has his, other, his TV in the other room. So the boys have their TV. Everybody has a TV. Every, we have, everybody has a TV in every room. <laughs> um, I guess we should decide right now whether the 30th is going to work or not, because I'm, I'm proposing that as my as my red thread peer group, and if nobody's going to be there, I sort of get screwed if that time is not being accepted. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, I would. Oh, so I you would, just want to do yours that way, okay? I was going to do it since I'm already scheduled on the thirtieth to do a red thread circle. It's like, oh, why don't I just? Let's just do it then. Just do two. Yeah, let's do it. I it's like don't know Kim, we, we don't know if Kim is zone. available. Huh? We just don't know if Kim is available for that time. Right. So honestly, I can do my Zoom call from anywhere unless I'm way out of phone service somewhere. But that's well, we could do it at 7 o'clock that not... night. Just do it at 7 o'clock. I'd like to participate with your other circle, though. Oh, you're welcome to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. totally open. It's totally open. But if we came, if we came to that, then we could do your peer review. 
and then you would Kim's have that done. Able, you're right, Leah. I wasn't thinking. If Kim's not able to come, then it's not. It's not. Uh, she's not included, yeah. and that to me is is not cool. Yeah, we want to make sure that she's able to. But she said seven o'clock was. We want to do it for you review. I don't remember what her details were. I'll I'll schedule a different one. So on the thirtieth, though, I'll send you the invite to come to it. And come if you want to, and you're welcome to write a critique on it. But but I won't I won't consider it the peer group one. If Kim can't come, okay, is that too complicated? Well, just figure. Yeah, find out, find out, and you know, ask her. And if that doesn't work, then then we'll re. Think it. We'll do another date. Yeah. Okay. So, but the seventh, the seventh for Ruth, right? Ruth Ann. Ruth Ann, do you right. like to go by Ruth or Ruth Ann? Ruth Ann. Ruth Ann. Okay. Yeah. Leah, it's your turn, right? When are we doing yours? <laughs> she gives us. Uh... A face. <laughs> she gives us a face like uh, at the eleventh hour. <laughs> okay let's see um ruthann did you suggest weekly were you suggesting weekly yeah i was suggesting weekly if that works for every is that too frequent we're going to be doing um aren't we going to be doing this until october when does our no I don't think it's that uh, September. So September 20 something is the graduation thing. Yeah, I think our work goes through August, and then in September we have to get our book together. And make sure yeah, so our... that's why I was suggesting maybe weekly. That's, that works for me. I'm okay with that. Well, because even if we're just doing a group together, it kind of helps maybe keep cohesive with everything and help each other out with stuff or whatever. I you know. think that's awesome. So then that would the next All day right. the 14th. Or do yeah. You, we and can do it the 30th at seven o'clock. I'll just do it. I'll do it at seven o'clock. That, that would, no, let's skip that. Let's skip next week. Don't double up your day if you mm -hmm. can help it yeah. too often anyway. Yeah. yeah, it would that would be over. Because you already did that this week. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So every I'll be the fourteenth. Every Tuesday at seven. Okay. You're gonna do the fourteenth. I'll do the fourteenth. That way, Kim can get back on next time and catch up with it or whatever well that so in july it leaves the 21st and the 28th um i'm gonna take the 21st then i guess if she can't if she can't do the 30th if she can then she'll take the 21st and we'll have all gone through one peer red thread critique circle does that sound good? Mm -hmm. So Kim, if you're watching this, <laughs> I hope you understood it. Okay. So yeah. by the end of July, we've gone through one red thread circle each. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. So should we just rotate it like that for August? Do the same order, Ruthann, Leah, me, Kim? We should, we can try, yeah. That works. That's, yeah. Let me just look real quick and see when my next, okay, the 30th. So then it'll be on the 14th. And then it'll be on the 28th. And then 28th. Oh yeah. See if we do that, it'll. I'll. I won't be doubled up in one day. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, Ruthann. 
and then Leah, me, Ken, and then we'll have to see in September, maybe in September we can get together like one or two times just to kind of get organized for our certification. So that, so we each can do, a, um, we each can do two red thread circles here. Mm -hmm. That'll work because we only need three, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And so that would be the 4th, 11th, 18th and 25th of August. 4th, 11th, 18th and 25th. Yeah. And then I'm the 4th. You're the fourth, I think. That's what I wrote down, yeah. Okay. You're, you're July 7th and then you're August, <clears throat> excuse me, 4th. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. And then in September, we're gonna try, we're, we're gonna still get together on the 1st, right? Is that, when is Labor Day? Oh yeah, Labor Day, when is Labor Day? Oh, the 7th, not until the 7th. Okay. So yeah, we could still try the first. Okay. Yeah. And then see if we want to get to try and get together another time before certification, maybe. Because that would be kind of good just to use September as a check-in month. Mm -hmm. God, this is going to go fast. <laughs> it's going to go fast. Okay, so let me put this out there to both of you and to you also, Kim. Um, so every other Tuesday at three, from three to four, I have that public red thread group, and it's on it's on the thirtieth. So it it on in July it'll be on the fourteenth, and it'll be on the twenty eighth. If you need, if you need um, a third red thread circle, and you can come to one of those dates, pick one of those dates and tell me, and then you'll be the leader of that red thread circle meeting, and then that'll cover, that'll get you your three. Um, okay. And I'll send, I'll send an email. I'll put the dates through August in the email that I send you this recording in. And, and that's your backup. Look at it as your backup for if you need, you know, and you're available. For when I throw my to phone in the toilet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drop my calendar in the river. Yeah. And if push comes to shove, too, I think I have, I don't, I want to do at least... I, I want to do at least one peer group to get your critiques on it. And I would like to do the two. Um, but I would be willing in August, if someone really needed to do a third one, but couldn't make my public one, I'm, I would give that my space to them so that you can get all three because I, I have, I have enough to pull from if I need to, but I don't want to cheat myself out of peer group critique either. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm willing to give up my August one. If one of you really needs it, that's, I would like to support in that way. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Well, because I, I wrote, very thoughtful. you know, I wrote down, what came out for me in, in the I hold my unique piece was to support my sisters, to support you, you know, all three of you. And so isn't that one of the easiest ways I can support you? Absolutely. Yes. You know, I'm very, I'm very thankful that you're sharing and that you have your other one because I'd love to attend it and 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 see what that's like so yeah because i don't do talking like this i mean it's just a red thread circle you know from start to finish so um yeah there might only be one other person i have 27 i have 27 in that group so you'd think there would never be 
only one other person, but this last time there was only one person. Um, so I never know. I really honestly never know. So we'll see. Yeah, they all finally went out shopping on that one day. <laughs> yeah, they may have. You know, I mean, the most I ever had was uh, 11 and, and myself, 12 in attendance, which that was a nice, that was a nice size red circle. It was nice. Yeah. But it was long. Um, so the more people you have, the longer your red thread circles are. That's always something to think about. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the whole object of a red thread circle is what? To allow everybody to speak. So. <sighs> okay. So it's quarter after. Is there, do you feel anything else we need to do or? We accomplished our intention. I, I, can we have just a few seconds of sending good energy to Kim? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of just that's what I was thinking. Idea. Yeah, that's a good She's idea. In a bad place, and she left suddenly, and might feel bad. And I hope she just went outside and put her toes in the grass, or I hope you went out and put your toes in the grass, or something. Yeah, Kim. A minute. We're for you. We're we're here for you. She was on that computer too long today. It's a burnout. You know, Zoom calls drain energy. I've noticed that. They drain energy. I wonder why. Especially multiples. And it sounded like yeah. she was pretty busy today. Okay, yeah. so we'll, yeah. you, Leah, you, you lead this, you, you guide this for us. Well, I just want to say, Kim, I hope you're getting some earth and off the ethers and just want you to know we're here for you when you're ready to pop back on and hopefully you get this one next week you can show up and kiss man but just know that we're all holding the red thread for you right now and we're really we're we're in your corner we got your back mm -hmm. and you got can your back. tug on it you can tug on it to us if you need us yeah. we've got an email chain you just we're here for you she's tugging psychically right now she is but yes, we're just holding hide. that space for Kim and don't hide. knowing that she is receiving the, the love and the support that we're sending to her al along the red thread. Yes. Yes. We're here to witness you, Kim, to see you, to listen to you, to support you. Turn to your sisters here and know that this is a safe space for you. Red thread, red thread rules. <laughs> So, um, does anybody have anything they want to say before we bring it to a close? I just want to thank you for um, initiating this and it's been wonderful connecting with each of you and, and Kim knowing that she um, was trying to be a part of this and was really trying to get with us and we're just knowing that we're supporting her and i'm i'm receiving your loving energy and i'm thankful and grateful to be a part of this yes <laughs> i have my little um i think my little crafty scissors are right here are you gonna snip us so yeah so i'm gonna snip and i will snip leah's and until we meet next time 
Yeah. May we all be blessed, protected, and remember that even though we're alone, we are very connected. We're here for each other. Ah! I finally meet your faces. I know, right? <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see your faces. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting those emails. Yes. And I'll see you yeah. in the see you in the um, classroom in the in the blog. One quick question: Am I setting up the Zoom meetings? Would Would you? Yes. Yes. Not a problem. Thank you. I okay. appreciate that so much. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. All right. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Have a lovely evening. You too. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.